and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we just sang in that opening song, that we will rise again. And on this particular fifth Sunday of Lent, we celebrate the fact that Jesus is our light, He is our resurrection, He is the joy, He is the peace, He is what we attain to be like, and especially as we gather here as brothers and sisters, helping each other and caring for one another. So my friends, let's take a moment of silence and, and ask for the Lord's pardon and for His peace. Lord, have mercy.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit. If only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the One who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the One who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through His Spirit dwelling in you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yes. 
said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial cloths, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now, many of the Jews had come to Mary, and seeing what had he had done, began to believe in him. My brothers and my sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. I know it seems a bit odd that we are doing Mass this way, but obviously we want to protect each other and be there for one another. So, through technology, through the gift of technology, we have the ability to be with one another in prayer and in thought. This particular gospel is, you know, from cycle A, and uh, it is our cycle this year, but we always tend to do this particular gospel uh, every Lent on this fifth Sunday because of our RCIA. Remember, that's right of Christian, a Christian Initiation for Adults. It is we are preparing our brothers and sisters to come to the waters of baptism, to seek the Lord's grace and peace, to be fed and to be nourished. And so we are with them to remind them once again of what it means to come to this waters of life-giving life. Because of the fact that we are baptized and brought into Christ Jesus, we know that in a sense we have died to, with Him in that water and we have come out new creations. That is that important symbol, important symbol, being plunged into that water, that tomb, and to rise with Him. The beauty of this gospel also reminds us once again that, yes, we're just passing through. This is a great experience God has given us. How blessed we are to have it. Sometimes it doesn't always feel so great and wonderful and blessed, especially in light of what we're going through right now. But it almost, in a sense, wants us to kind of focus us Again, what's really important, the things that are so important to us, the people that are so important to us, the life that we have, the gift, everything seems right now to be kind of up in the air. We're all desperately trying to make sense of everything. And that's why it's good that we are here. It's good that we are listening to each other. It's good that we are being once again reminded by the truth that is given to us in this gospel. Yes, sometimes we might feel kind of like Martha and say, Lord, if you would have been here, this never would have happened. But we know the Lord is always with us, but he's given us this gift of free will. And he knows that in our free will, choices are made. And sometimes there are choices that we learn a lot of lessons through. But we can never say to ourselves that he was not here. He's always been here. He will always be here. Even when he sees his children sometimes struggling, it does not mean that he's abandoned us. He's definitely here, right now, right now. And so as we sang in that opening song, We Shall Rise Again, so as we once again see in Scripture where Lazarus is called out of that tomb, and Jesus says to unbind him, let him go free. Sometimes some of us may be feeling not quite so free right now, stuck in our homes, not knowing what to do. But it is an inner freedom, my friends. Even in the midst of our life not being quite the same, there is freedom. There is freedom because our freedom is in Christ. And we know that anything that comes our way will never steal away Christ from, a, from us, never steal away the promise of eternity. That is our promise from God. So whether we feel like we are not free, whether we feel like we're held bound, whether we even feel like we're in the tomb and we're praying like crazy that there will be light again, that the resurrection will shine on us. That is what we have faith in. That is what we hold on to. We let no one ever take that away from us. May we continue to grow close to one another, maybe even more so with social distancing, so many of us are checking on each other, praying for one another, being considerate and understanding. 
May all of this that's going on right now actually bring us closer to one another and more in touch with who we really are and who the God who loves us, who created us. God bless you. My brothers and my sisters, we now take this moment to bring our prayers before the Lord. And now uh, we invite the Lord to please lead us in these prayers. For the church, that we may be a source of living water for all who thirst for meaning and purpose in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in authority, that they would forsake division and discord and instead seek unity, stability, and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, especially those with the coronavirus, that God's healing love will restore them to health and will guide those researching cures and vaccines, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safe return of our military, for the safety of all first responders, and for all who put their lives in danger for our safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elect, that they may grow in their desire for the waters of new birth and allow God fully into their hearts this Lent, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Kyle Smith, Manuel Hernandez, Loretta Kelly, and Esperanza Asiaga, and all those who died, that just as they shared in the living waters during life, they will share in the eternal love of our Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts and for our intentions, spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, we thank you again for listening to the voices of your children. We ask that you grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yeah. 
Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.